Hello, this is the One Episode Rule, a podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie, continuing my love-hate watch of Baki the Grappler on Netflix. (laughs) Oh, those Um, big, big, big boys. I'll go into it later, but first, how are you guys? (laughs) <laughs> um, I'm Blackal. I'm doing pretty good, kind of sleepy, but otherwise surviving. Mm-hmm. Hello, I am Joey. I am doing pretty good. I am also sort of sleepy and also surviving. Hmm. Hi, I'm Louie. Am I still a guest? I'm still a guest. Mm-hmm. I've decided this. I've, um, anyway, guest. I'm a perpetual guest, guest yes. Um, I... I'm doing fucking fantastic because I have air conditioning for the first time in what feels like two months, but it's only been like three days. That's positively, that's positively swagatron. Yeah. Ours is basically fixed, but we got a, we're we're probably going to change out a wire that leads to the thermostat. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So, uh, so yeah, about Baki, because I want to talk about Baki a little bit. (laughs) I'm not sure why I'm watching this show, but I can't stop. Yeah, it is a bit, uh, it's got that train wreck quality to for, it. Huh? Uh, for, for, li- for listener reference, I, uh, I have begun, uh, I've gotten to the episode in which Baki must fight an airbender um, <laughs> with an mm-hmm. old man, uh, mm-hmm. and he loses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the science is bad and it doesn't make sense. Uh, so... So yeah, I'm I'm trying to formulate a theory about what the appeal of Baki the Grappler is, is because there's not so much plot in it. Uh, many of the characters are the most hideous beings I have ever seen. <laughs> Even the more normal ones, like Yagane, still looks like shit. Like he's this is an ugly man. Mm-hmm. Speck was a mon- was a monstrosity. <laughs> um. So yeah, I th- I'm thinking the appeal is this, is that every episode of Baki, at least one time, has caused me to just say, see what somebody is beginning to do, and just say, surely not. Uh-huh, yeah. Surely this is not what is actually happening. And every time, it is what is happening. It is. <laughs> he is completely serious with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> And I just, I have to keep watching just to see what happens next. What mm-hmm. stupid fucking thing you. is going to be in the next episode. <laughs> yep. That's how they get you. Um, uh, although I will say that there was, that I was rewarded with a very cool thing in this episode that was very funny. Because there was a callback to a uh, a short fight between the old man and this character, uh, Yagani. In which uh, Yagani threw a boiling kettle of uh, tea at him. Uh-huh. Uh, and the old man interrupted Yagani's fight with Baki in the schoolyard and just, scre- and just screamed boiling water and threw a tea kettle at him. <laughs> I'm <laughs> he ca- to remember that, yeah. And he, he caught it and immediately began screaming and then just went, wait a second, this is cold. And the guy just started <laughs> laughing hysterically at him. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, that's enough. That's enough talk about these malformed beings. Um <laughs> While while we're catching up on stuff that you've seen slash read, I have a question for you. Go ahead. How uh, have you read any more Chainsaw Man? I read like one chapter of Volume Two. Leave me alone. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll get to Look, it. I have to read good. my library. I, I have to read my fucking library book before the public library breaks my knees and takes it back. Um, <laughs> oh, the library uh, mafia. The yeah. library mafia. You know. So anyway, well, let's talk about some. Let's talk about some news before we get to the main event. Um, I have a a little bit of news. Uh, Netflix uh, is proving to be a surprisingly reliable source for anime uh, in that it is literally, seems to be like literally the only competitor to Crunchyroll right now in the West. Which is crazy. But uh, they have secured the, uh, secured global streaming rights to like 13 new shows uh, that will probably interest you guys, which I will list here. Uh, they got Hunter Hunter. They got Orin High School Host Club, Claymore, nice. Death Note. Uh, some Death Note movies that are only available in certain countries, and I don't say which, so I, fuck, <laughs> it may not even be related to us. Uh, <laughs> from Me to You, From Me to You Season 2, Berserk. 
Whoa. Uh, the, the 2016 one or the uh, other one? The, the 1997 one. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't remember the year. I wanted to say the better one, but I didn't want to be flamed. <laughs> uh, Parasite, Nana, Hajino, Hajime no Ippo, The Fighting, all Whoa. 76 episodes of it, and all wow. 74 episodes of Monster, which I've been really interested in watching. Because I want to watch some Germans and Czechoslovakians be paranoid at each other. Um, <laughs> what a collection. It's a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, which it almost makes up for the fact that uh, this was going to be news until I realized it was terribly out of date. Is that they made another fucking Full Metal Alchemist live action film. Oh, yeah. That's. <laughs> and it's yeah. called. And you know it's great because it's called Revenge of Scar. And Scar was not in the first movie. They cut him out. So that's how that's going. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Uh, and my second b- bit of news is, honestly, it's just uh, excitement for October, because I have a list of what's premiering in October, uh, and it seems cool. I'm going to hit you with this. What do we got in October? Uh, Chainsaw Man, Mob mm-hmm. Psycho 3, yes. uh, uh, Hero Academia 6, who cares, but um, hey. <laughs> um, Spy Family Part 2. Uh, some bleach. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm skipping it. Uh, Uzaki. Bleaches? Fucking Uzaki Chan is coming back. So get ready for the big titty discourse to return to Twitter. <laughs> um, oh, God. Uh, oh. Uh, Blue Lock. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Ur- Urusei Yatsura. <laughs> what? <laughs> is going to premiere. Season four Golden Cam- Camoy. Uh, oh, wow. Kami. It's going to be, which, I, I, you know, I might start watching that again because that show looks cool as hell. Yeah, I wanted to watch more of that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, do It Yourself, that cute girl's building birdhouses anime. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Pop Team Epic's second season. Damn. Oh, yeah. finally. Finally, finally. It's a, it's a bundle. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on in October. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's the news. Uh, and for uh, as for what we're watching today, I thought uh, since Louis didn't get to participate in this one before, I don't think oh. we're gonna we're gonna play a little game. <laughs> it's called oh, we're no. gonna we I'm calling it I'm still calling it Russian Roulette. <laughs> so I've got a randomized list here of shows. Uh, I want you guys to decide on a number between one and six. And see if you get the bullet. Three. I thought Louie was choosing. Oh, sorry. I, I, I said all of you. Oh, you guys. I mean, well, oh, I, if I, someone I was says a number, three, then... So... <laughs> Just then we one. all kind of... One! Uh, Cross shit. his arms. Seven. Um, shit. Five. <laughs> You have to. You all have to agree on one. That's what I. Oh, that's okay. what I'm Three saying. Then. If someone blurts out a number, then... Okay, then one. 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 You all, you guys want one? Yeah. That's yeah. what you is said. We have fi- to agree on. Is that your yeah. final answer? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Fuck. This was not di- this difficult the first time. <laughs> it wasn't. You have to pick one of because us. Because I'm here. No, I, no, it I was didn't. Because I had that like four is death joke, and I can't just replay that joke again. <laughs> I mean, for I, his death. I didn't pick one of you the first time. We did it correctly that time. Yeah, but even then, you know, someone blurts out a number and then everyone's just like, okay, yeah, that one, I guess. This is well, this is dumb. We're watching your boy Kong Ming. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to explain to anyone who appeared in the works of Lu- uh, Luo Guangzhong the concept of fucking cryptocurrency. I absolutely God. forbid it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very God. realistic portrayal of a uh, f- f- factkin. <laughs> you you absolutely... You absolutely don't understand, like how bad it would be if, like, Cow Cow started mining Bitcoin. <laughs>
Yeah. Lockle, I'm going to die at that can comet. We, can we circle back? What is a fact? Can... Someone who, uh, <laughs> uh, other kin than kin's a, a factual person. An actual mm. person. Oh, like, like yeah. actually, I'm not going to bring that up on the podcast. Never mind. Okay. We shouldn't. Let's. Uh, I refuse. Let's I'm other kin, by the way. I'm allowed to talk about it. I refuse to acknowledge this in any way. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> who wants this blurb? I will read it. You will read it? I will read will you, it. Will you bear the blurb into, into Romance, Mortar? Of, yeah. Romance um, of the Three Kingdoms, China? Zhu Kongming earned a reputation as one of the greatest tacticians of the Three Kingdoms period of third century China, having led his army through countless grueling victories. Kong Ming falls gravely ill at the Battle of Wuzhang plains. The weariness and regret stemming from the seemingly never-ending war catch up to him, and as he draws his final breath, Kong Ming wishes that if he were to in reincarnate, he would be reborn in a more peaceful area. Era, my bad. Um, <laughs> his wish comes true, and Kong Ming wakes up in the modern-day Tokyo with a younger body and his memories intact. Thrust into an unfamiliar world, he finds his way into a nightclub and meets Aiko, Tuz Aiko uh, Tsukimi. Tsukimi, an aspiring singer whose performance immediately captivates him. Pitying his confusion, Aiko takes Kongming under wing and teaches him about the current world, which leads to Kongming's interest in contemporary music. Seeing Aiko's immense musical potential, Kong Ming vows to make the world recognize her and soon takes on the role of her manager. Unsurprisingly, the music industry is unforgiving to those who make even the slightest mistake. Still, Kong Ming is, dis is determined to accomplish his goals, even if he must u utilize the war stratagems he famously used in his previous life. Kong Kong Ming is going to start a beef with Suge Knight. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> so this this might be one of the better isekai we've ever watched. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, this, is it an isekai if it's the it, same world. It is an isekai. We've anyway. gone over this. Um, yeah, it Bowie's counts. new career in a new town is an isekai. <laughs> <laughs> um, like we we've discussed it. Inuyasha counts. The girl who leapt through time counts. So this counts. Wait, this is just is... a back, this is just a different kind of isekai. Mm, yeah. Okay, I guess if Doctor Stone counts, this counts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess Doctor Stone would count. It yeah, it just has to be counts. another world, and that world being being removed in time is enough. Yes. But anyway, let's get in on this. So <laughs> so yeah uh, so yeah uh, Zuj. Uh, we we cut in on uh, on Kong Ming uh, perishing before the uh, before the Battle of uh, Wuzhong Plains. Uh, he he just gets an illness, which is true yeah. to life. Like that's just how it happened. He just they were preparing to go to war, and uh, he just died in a tent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, he, yeah, his final thoughts are: is just like, wow, I would like to live in an era in which. That was not defined by constant warfare, <laughs> because this sucks. <laughs> um, so, so the the world decide the the universe decides to grant his wish, and he is kind of reincarnated. He's given his his younger body, uh, and it's and funny memory. because he wasn't reincarnated so much as he spawned in. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he came out of a monster closet that produces characters from fifth, from fucking 16th century Chinese novels. Um, Popped into existence. Uh, amongst the drunks, as one does. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he pops into Shibuya on uh, Halloween night and comes out to see uh, the, the big square in Shibuya, the one where you always see that has the three crosswalks and shit. Uh and it's it's the Times Square of Shibuya, uh, and yeah, yeah, he just sees all kinds of people in costume, and Grim Reapers and shit, and he, and he correctly assumes, ah, yes, I am in hell. 
I have, I have been brought, I have been brought to Naraka to to burn off my bad karma. You atone for my sins. Uh, yes, the lives I have taken. Um, so, uh, so yeah, he gets uh, he immediately gets pounced on by two uh, two uh, reveling Japanese people dressed up as like one of them's like a mummy, and I forget what the other guy is. Um, who was just like, wow, that's Kong Ming. That's a, mm-hmm. this is a great fucking costume. And he's just like, yes, I am Kong Ming. <laughs> he's just like, wow, you're really committed. They're like, you're yeah, the, you're so in you get, character, dude. You got the fan and everything. Hey, here, drink this tequila. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, my throat is burning. This is a trial punish- of hell. The punishment of hell. <laughs> And he's he's really he's just resigning himself to it at this point because they're just like yeah let's hit up some clubs and he's just like yes take me to the next layer of hell, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, which is a modern nightclub which in many ways isn't a layer a level of hell. Um, uh, he does not like uh, techno; it does not do it for him. Uh, but uh, but the next uh, act that comes on is a singer. Uh, with a surprisingly similar like electronica backing, uh, and he likes that. Mm-hmm. He, he he quite appreciates uh, her song. So uh, when she uh, dismounts the stage uh, and complains that at the bar that nobody was even paying attention, uh, she is proven wrong because Zouge presents himself to her uh, and says, "Hey, I quite liked your I quite liked your music, songstress of hell." <laughs> This mm-hmm. fucking guy. This this yeah. fucking guy. She's just like, what are you talking about? He's just like, lead me to the next level of Jigoku. <laughs> I wish yes. to command an army against the souls of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... So I have to say, this, this uh, we're going to break this up. This show does a really good job of endearing you to its main character. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're like, I, wow. I instantly decided that I liked this man. You're <laughs> yeah. great. I have I have more thoughts about that, but let's get through this summary really quick. Uh, but yeah, they they have a moment, and it it does cheer her up. Uh, and he gets dragged away by the mummy and the other guy for uh, for more trials of hell. Yep, <laughs> just like shots, drink shots, some more. Shots, shots, shots. <laughs> and uh, the the character he met, Ico, uh, wraps it up for the night, and uh, clearly the party is over. Although it is like Halloween night and Shibuya, so the party is over with her walking home at like dawn. Yeah. <laughs> like the sun is coming up. Mm-hmm. And uh and while she's walking up, she does come across Kong Ming uh sleeping in an alleyway because he is off his tits. Um uh, <laughs> with he is he is two bottles deep in tequila. Mm-hmm. He partied hard. I know how you know how it is, <laughs> um, and uh, and she said she looks at him and she's just like, ah shit! And it was the guy that was nice to me, and he's just passed out in the street. Hey, wake up! Morning, get up! <laughs> yep. And he's just You're like freeze. Oh, 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 oh. mumbling about like ancient battle shit. Yeah, see uh-huh. that bastard, see my ye. Uh, uh, she's like, ah, oh, beautiful songstress, and she's just like, well, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep it off on my floor. <laughs> yeah. So she, she must be. She's not like big or anything. So she must be more fit than your average anime girl because she, because it doesn't even like spare any attention to how she got him into the apartment right did she, did she bridal carry him fireman yeah she, she, yeah she she bridal carried him all the way up there it was an it was an incredible sight you know old mm-hmm. you know like japanese pensioners getting up to go to their favorite breakfast spot watching this this blonde girl carry this six foot tall man and and silk Chinese robes for the third century. Mm-hmm. They're just Fantastic. like, oh, well, day after Halloween. Yep, you know how it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she you know goes home, and decides to take a shower. Also, I think it's weird that Aiko doesn't sleep. It is weird. 
<laughs> I could have a fair shower. Uh, she all she has is a shower. <laughs> She's like, well, that's it. Got to go back to work. Well, you know what? She, she may. You know what? The next scene may just be divorced in time because that's what, true. It, so it may be during like the late afternoon. But yeah, uh, but yeah she she ta- she takes a shower and Kong Ming wakes up uh, on her floor. Just face down on the hardwood. <laughs> <laughs> and he stands up and he just looks around. He's just be like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so she comes out uh, and says, oh, you're up. Okay, good. You, you going to be okay getting home? Like you really tied it on last night. Uh, and then it, then, then it becomes clear that uh, he, he is, uh, so deep into character that no, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a home. What are you talking about? And they ask her what a smartphone is, and <laughs> and thus follows a a scene of like four hours of Kong Ming just asking her nonstop question. <laughs> yeah, that? it's the dehumidifier. <laughs> <laughs> There's What's a fire. That? We have to put it out. <laughs> no, it's just the. It's just the air conditioning, Kong Ming. What, it's fine. What? What do? The, what do the long hand and the short hand signify? It's a clock. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, and which uh, is a sort of a montage, and it comes back at the end of four hours, and <laughs> with the question, "So, what is the blockchain?" And she oh. just, she just oh, goes, no! "No!" Screams as is talking correct. about this. She I will has not the tell you about re- this. She has the correct reaction. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they, they proceed to have a conversation about, like, how this man doesn't have, like, any connection to this world. Uh, so, but uh, but Ico, and uh, and she's just, you know, she's working a dead-end job as a bar back and trying to get her singing career off. So she's not doing so hot either. Uh, but he says that, uh, like, hey, if you teach me how to use this smartphone, I will use my wisdom for your benefit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. and you know, after that session, uh, he he goes to the window and has like a moment where he's just think, looking out at the world, and he's be like, I "Really, don't have anything in this world." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember my friends, and now I'm sad. And then he <laughs> has like a single tear moment, which are like, it's kind of sweet, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, well, "Man, he, our world it, sucked." <laughs> If the uh, like like I said, if the romance of the three kingdoms is to be believed, then I, then then uh, Kong Ming uh, joined yeah joined the war efforts to create a better world. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's really sad actually. It, it is extremely sad <laughs> that all of his friends are dead. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, Iko sings his song to cheer him up. Yeah, she plays her she plays Wonderwall for him. Um, yeah, God, the animation in that scene it was so jank. Did it was else... pretty fucking weird. It was like it was like first season Simpsons, just like it, it really looked like it was animated on like a different tempo than the rest of the show. It was. It looked like they were trying to animate on ones to make it like look nice, but then like it didn't work because it was just yeah. too like wiggly. It <laughs> was so so wiggly and like wild looking. I, I thought they might be doing a little rotoscoping as well, and it's just like uh-huh. this doesn't blend at all. Stop uh-huh. it, please. <laughs> I like it. Was, I like that they went for it, but it didn't. It didn't work. It didn't work. Didn't didn't work out. Uh, anyway, uh, so she's just like, well, you, um, oh yeah, he's just like, well, if I'm going to work for you, I must acquire a war chest. So I require your assistance in getting a job. She's like, you don't have a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they so so they go and interview with the guy who owns the uh, nightclub, uh, and he writes his information on his uh, on on the fucking application, and the guy's just like, "What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are clearly not this man." And, uh-huh. um, it's like, and if you were, you could tell me why you sent Mashu to. Uh, to hold the line at, oh God, I forgot what the fuck it was. Yeah. <laughs> to, to the defense of whatever. Uh, and they they sit there playing, uh, I think they're playing Shogi? Go. It's, they're playing go. Go. it's Go. It's Go. Shogi's yeah. played with the, the fucking little, like, tiles. Yeah. And Go's mm-hmm. played with the little, like, stones. Um, yes. Go, yeah. <laughs> Go's the one I'm interested in playing. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
because I will not learn Shogun. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they they sit there playing that, and he explains his entire like thought process between just like I was I left one of my favored servants there because I because it was a simple task and I thought he could do the job, but he probably had different different thoughts about strategy and thought that if he, if he let them pass, then it would force me to attack this uh, this front over here. Uh, and at the end, I had to kill him. <laughs> for his treachery uh-huh. and they both weep over it. yeah <laughs> and he's like yeah you're definitely uh kong ming you're hired <laughs> it's just like you're hired i have no one to talk to about this shit <laughs> yeah he's a big nerd keep the outfit <laughs> so uh so yeah kong ming gets a job uh <laughs> and uh looks like they're gonna have him bartend Mm-hmm. Which is fucked up because Iko's only like a bar back. It looks uh-huh. like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so so he he's, he ranks higher than she does. Um, but but yeah, they go out to to uh, you know do their jobs and have a little conversation about like beats per minute and music and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she explains to him like this is a cocktail. Do you, can you remember all these recipes? And he's just like, I think I've got it. Uh, and it's really, uh, it's really obviously obvious that yes, he does in fact got it because during the scene where it gets busy, she, she looks over and he, he has like, he's getting like three drinks ready at the same time oh, with yeah. completely stone faced and his arms are just a blur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's just like, here is your f- fuzzy navel, sir. Here's your fuzzy navel. That'll be 1,700 Japanese yen, please. <laughs> With tax. <laughs> With On tax. your card? Certainly, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. If you're gonna bring some, if you're gonna bring somebody out of time and give them a job in the modern world, bartender is a pretty good bet. Uh huh. Yeah, they will not need much to do the job. It's like your modern day potion seller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. Well, but it was also funny because he did quip. Oh well, it's easier than tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah. He doesn't do a complicated fucking tea ceremony. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, yeah, it all's going well to the point where the the owner comes over and he's just like, "Hey, I'll take over beer and uh, cashiering. You get up there and sing." Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's just like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> and she she goes and uh, does another performance, and it's I don't know, it's pretty good, I guess. Um, my favorite sight gag of the whole episode when like a guy comes up to ask for a drink and he's already got it on the table. He, he just sets talking. it down before yep, he finishes yeah. his sentence. It's um, really funny. Yeah, he's very good at his job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, she she finishes up and uh, they go home. Basically, they they start to walk home. They've never addressed where Kong Ming is going to live. It's mm-hmm. fine. Don't think about it. <laughs> Just don't think about it. <laughs> I'm keeping an ancient Chinese warlord under my bed in my <laughs> studio apartment. Um, Completely normal. My roommate is a tactician. My He's roommate sleeping. is a tactician. He's sleeping in the closet, standing up. <laughs> standing up like like low pan. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, on their way back, they they have a have a deep conversation basically about uh, uh, about what drew her to music and how she's thinking about quitting because um, it's just not worth her time. She's not getting any traction at all. Uh, and Kong, and Kong Ming says, "Well, what well, what would that how would that affect your fans?" And she says, "What what are you talking about? I don't have any fans." He's just like, "I'm your fan." Oh, I'm your fan. Aww. It's Aww. really, it's really it's, sweet. It's, it's very sweet. Uh, and then he decides that he will be her tactician, <laughs> and he will deploy uh-huh. his knowledge of the methods of war to advance her career. <laughs> her music career, yeah. It's great. It's her great. Career in music. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? That was that's the episode. Yeah. Yeah. That was that's it. It. yeah. Oh yeah, there was a there was a scene like directly before that where he had a, a conversation with the owner, kind of like acts a bit like a dad for. Uh... Oh yeah, he was having the dad conversation. Mm-hmm. It was just like, "Hey, don't you be be a prick to her? I'll kill hey, you." If you... <laughs> yep, pretty much. It's not. And then like kind of gets into her her backstory a little bit where when she first came to uh, Shibuya, she uh, did just nearly jump in front of a train. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Very uh... sad. 
Um, so yeah, that that that's pretty. Oh yeah, that guy is like yakuza energy too. Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but he is a nightclub owner in Japan, so you know what? He probably has associations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His look, Wait. incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Man knows how to dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've already forgotten what he looks like. It, it's not because he didn't have a bad character design. It was good. But in my head, I'm picturing... Um, oh, God. Do, who's the blonde guy from JJK? I'm blanking on his name. Oh, no, Nanami. 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 Yes, Nanami. Yeah. He's like an oh. inverse Nanami. <laughs> he has like a dark suit and like a purple shirt. But... Mm -hmm. But sort of similar I, I, energy. I, I I think it was the energy in the blonde hair. Mm -hmm. It's the energy in the blonde hair. I think he might have had sunglasses too. Yeah, it's he. He really only has the he really only has the two personality traits, which which is like serious, well, possibly criminal nightclub owner and like a fucking romance of the three kingdoms nerd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he keeps coming into frame anytime uh, Kong Ming mentions any of his compatriots out loud. He's like, "Are you talking about the Three Kingdoms over there?" He's just like, he's just like, did somebody say cow cow? Um, yeah, yeah, he's a total nerd. Uh, for that stuff. He's a huge fucking nerd. Mm -hmm. um, so, what do we think about this show uh, I overall? Liked I liked it a lot. I I'll probably watch the rest of it at some point. Mm -hmm. I really liked it like a lot. Um, yeah. Like you were saying, like they do a really good job of endearing Kong Wing. <laughs> yeah, I, I I found Aiko 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 really mm -hmm. relatable. I thought Kong Ming was uh, hilarious, and the fact that it's an isekai where they take a character that's just from history and yeah. make him someone's like musician uh, manager. Yeah. Yeah, a mu fucking music produce producer. <laughs> but also, okay. like, it's really refreshing to have, like, a, a more awesome. mature, like, protagonist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, in just the, uh, emo like, emotional, uh, emotional sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. normally yeah. you get an isekai, it's this stupid teenage boy that he's just, like... <laughs> Really yeah, annoying. Right. Did, make meanwhile, sure you he was like, my it's computer a... files. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like uh -huh. this. Meanwhile, like your boy Young Kong Ming is like, um, I, I find it. I, I believe that it's important to say what's on your heart or whatever, because you might die at any moment. And <laughs> it's just, just he's just, he's just like, I believe it is important to be honest and forth forthright in your life because you have such limited time upon this earth. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. okay, man, you're just gonna drop, you're just gonna drop practical fire like that <laughs> yeah, yeah it's really good i like it i it, it's like, again it, you'd never it, see that and it's great yeah, he's very yeah. different like he starts off as like an aged man and mm -hmm. even when he comes back he looks like he's in like his he looks like he's in like his early 30s or something yeah yeah um so you we, we appreciate we appreciate an older protagonist um mm -hmm. um my com my only really co real complaints are uh, when they tried to they tried to put quote unquote Sasaga on some of the uh, the singing scenes, like yeah. Blackle mentioned. <laughs> yeah. They were they were a little rough. She she was moving her head too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what is a weird honest. thought. Hmm. Do you go? Is that I feel like this would be a good live action show. Huh. Yeah, I would. Because I would like, watch it. It's there's nothing like sort of like wild happening. Like it doesn't have to be animated. Like that. Like yeah, like right. they could it's easily put they could easily put together this costume and look for uh, just a, a guy. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. It would be a good drama show. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'll, like, I think it's funny that you say nothing wild is happening, and this is the wildest thing I've ever heard. Like the plot summary. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like it's oh, not it's yeah. not visually different. Like yeah, it's not no. it's yeah. not like I get what it doesn't you're require saying. VFX. It's just like the story is very like I don't know, it lends itself to just like putting mm -hmm. some people in some costumes and just like yeah. having them act, right? Yeah, you I get, can agree with that. You know, all you gotta do is you gotta source like modern Tokyo costumes for everybody and maybe mm -hmm. and, and out for the tour maybe uh, for uh kong ming you know mm -hmm. he's got to have some silk robes and then yeah. i don't know maybe a modern outfit that he'll look out of place in uh -huh. that's the yes. challenge is you got to make him look completely out of place wearing normal clothes yes 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 <laughs> yeah. i do yeah um 
maybe he'll do maybe he'll do his hair in an ancient way or something but <laughs> yeah. right uh, I didn't get to say it, but when we were talking about uh, we were talking about the bit where she was playing guitar and how weirdly animated it was, uh, when I mentioned she was moving her head so much, it brought to mind like you know what a dog will like grab like a shoe or something and just start whipping it around. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. That's what it reminded me. That's <laughs> so funny. Um. Um. I, I honestly didn't notice it that much. I didn't catch it. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but okay. I I'm I don't know. I was just thinking about the plot, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> also, I actually didn't find the songs all that interesting. And it's curious that they're in English. It was yeah. really interesting that they're like in English. And oh, I was yeah. watching like the lip flaps are like animated to the English. Yeah. <laughs> Some of well, them I mean, okay, and yeah, obviously, I uh it's a it's an obviously like Japanese singer singing the English too. So like yeah, but she's doing it well. She's too. doing she's, it really well. Uh-huh. She's clearly got a grasp on it. She's not like imitating like mm-hmm. like uh, some do. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Which was pretty interesting, I guess. But uh, but yeah, like overall, like most of the animation was pretty good. Characters mm-hmm. were likable. Voice acting decent. Uh, yeah. Kong Ming sounded good. So yeah, I'm I'm into this. I Kong, Kong I is probably my favorite Chinese warlord now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I actually quite want to watch what? more of this. Wait, yeah. even even before Lu Bu? <laughs> yeah, even before Lu Bu now. It, has Lu Bu ever been someone's tactician for a music career in EDM? I don't think so. I don't. I mean, he he probably he could. could be. He, he was undefeated. You know, he was undefeatable. Well, let's res- let, let, let's watch that show sometime. <laughs> you can't defeat him. No, I don't want to watch that show because half of the screen is going to be taken up by his weird hair tails that everybody says he has. <laughs> Man looks like a cockroach. Anyway. <laughs> Can I offer one spoiler that I accidentally read by rolling hmm. down to the comments section on this page? Okay, okay. But listen, it's not canon to the episode. <laughs> it's not canon, but... I, I do have word that in a future episode, uh, Kong Ming does rap. Okay. Um, I was scared. I was scared you were going to say Kong Ming and Echo Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my 2,000 year old boyfriend and me's normal life. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, I I would watch more of this. I don't know if I will, but I would definitely that I would definitely not be opposed to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, yeah. Do, what do you guys think? I I I'm almost like in uh, like thinking about seeking it out. I kind of liked it like a lot. Mm. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I just like the characters a lot. It was fun. Uh, next time I'm in an anime mood, I'll probably I, it's going to be on my sh- should I finish this list? And mm-hmm. the answer is going to be yes. Nice. What do you think, Blaggle? I liked it a lot. I think I'll watch more. Cool. Oh, wow. That's a resounding yes from everyone. Rare. That's, that's high marks. For, <laughs> high marks for your boy Zuj. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, listener, if you would have a preferred, uh, preferred historical warlord... <laughs> To come manage your career, you can tell us about that at one episode cast at gmail.com. That is one the word, not the number. You can uh, also tweet us on Twitter. Sometimes there's not a joke. Um, we are at one episode cast. <laughs> what a Nob- Nobunaga who? <laughs> I don't want Obin- <laughs> Oda <laughs> Nobunaga managing my career. You know who I want? I want Gotz von von uh, Berlitzgen. You you oh, guys no, realize no. that you are both the nerds. You are <laughs> oh, the nerds. Oh, <laughs> otherwise known as Gotz of the Iron Hand, the German knight who was excommunicated like twice and In. <laughs> had a had a mechanical hand made that could hold a gun. <laughs> and and oh. he, he said all that, and I'm the nerd. I want Gandhi to manage my music career. Gandhi does count as a warlord, yes. Yeah. You know, yeah, I think you might be right with that one, actually. <laughs> well, now you gotta come up with one, JoJo. 
I don't know. Did you listen in history class? <laughs> no. <laughs> then unfortunately, I'm going to have to assign you one, and that, and 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 uh, for your negligence, I assign you Andrew Jackson. <laughs> I, I was going to say no. George Washington, but I guess... Now I do want to go to hell. <laughs> Thanks. It's... Ah, excellent. <laughs> Thanks. None uh, of this is going to make the episode. I'm going to I kill you. <laughs> I'm going to slaughter you. <laughs> well, Andrew will help. 